Okay. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha Rachakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, and much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yashar, and this video will be entitled Love One Another, right? Um, and I'm just going to break down and go into uh, John, the 13th chapter, verse 34. Uh, and I'm going to just read it. It says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love that ye also love one another. Read it again. John 13 and 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have loved, if ye have loved one to another. So, Yahweh, these are Yahweh shy words, right? He said to love one another like I have loved you. And Yahweh shy, the the main thing he did for us was what? He died for our sins. So, he told us to have have that love, that same love. What he washed the disciples' feet. Right. He um, he he broke down the scriptures. He 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 he, he constantly um, showed humility and meekness. Right. He is our example on how we should conduct ourselves on this earth. Now I'm going to go to um, the book of first John chapter two and verse seven. It says, brethren, I write no new commandment unto you. But an old commandment, which ye had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. So we, this is nothing new. This was always taught. This was always um, exaggerated. It says, again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because um, the darkness is past, the true light shineth. It says, he that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness, even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. So if you say you, you know, oh, you know, oh, I got the truth. Um, um, <laughs> right. You say you abide in the light. The light is Yahweh Shai, but you hate your brother. You're in darkness. Right. It says uh, verse 11, but he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. So <laughs> you don't know where you're going. If you hate, if you, you know, um, oh, yeah, I trust in the Lord. I believe in you. How about Shimei Abishai? Right. And you in your mind, you, you looking at a fellow brother, a man in this truth, in this faith on the highways and byways with you. Oh, this nigga, uh, this and that. You're in darkness. It says, I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. So, so the heavenly father, he, he forgave our um, he forgave us our sins. Right. For his name's sake. It's not of our power. It's not of our works. It's not of our will. This is of his will. You see. So. Um, and because of his will, when you obey him and you do his will. He's going to reward you. This is Hebrews chapter 6. In verse 10, it says, For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. So, so <laughs> not only is making videos, going on the highways and byways, a part of the work, but also showing love, right? It says, um, labor of love, which he have showed towards his name. In that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. So a part of showing love towards his name is ministering unto the saints. The word minister goes into uh, being a servant, right? To serve. It says, and we desire that every one of you show the same diligence in the full assurance of hope unto the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit promises, inherit the promises. So it says in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So you 
you you have ministered in the past and you are continuing to minister you know, right uh, until the end as it says in full assurance of hope unto the end see he says he's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love so the more you um you abound in this truth the more you walk in his faith and you're um showing that love to the body to the to the men of your camp to the men of other camps around the world gms right or if you, let's say you, you might be watching uh a different camp as far as um you have the true names of the lord and and, and you are sincere about this which we 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 tell our people to to you know subscribe to gms if you are advocate watchers of gms because if you're watching different camps they're not going to teach you about loving one another they're going to say the law the law the law or um <laughs> what uh, just stay, stay on topic but at gms starting with the apostles and the elders on down they they express uh the full gospel man you see and a part of that gospel is is loving one another. It says, uh, I'm going to go to um, the book of Galatians. Galatians um, 5. And I got a few, few more precepts. Galatians 5 and verse 13. It says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. We just read in Hebrews the, the, the sixth chapter that you will minister to the saints and do minister. It says, for all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. See, so when you love your neighbor as thyself, that's that's you. You um, you wouldn't commit adultery. Oh, if, if if you wanted a man to love you as as you love him or, or or vice versa right you wouldn't steal from him you wouldn't kill him right or murder so it says the law is fulfilled in one word even in this thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself and when you love your neighbor as yourself you wouldn't do those things man because <laughs> you, you wouldn't want your your neighbor to do those things to you and that's just the simple, the simplicity of it. So I got this. Something else Yahweh Shah said. Right? Because it all goes back to the teachings of Yahweh Shah. Right? He he came and, and expounded on what the Heavenly Father wanted us to do. It's uh John chapter 15 and verse 12. It says, This is my commandment. That ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. See? So it says, No greater love, no greater love than um, no man had than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And and <laughs> the ultimate example of of, of this scenario is when Yahweh Shai was was crucified. For the for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, right? It says, uh, "No greater love." This this is beyond like you ever seen the movies, right? Um, you you got that one guy he's trapped or you know so he can't run or something something happens, right? And then you know, let's say guy's about to shoot him and he do jumps in front of the bullet. That's a a, a show of love, right? Because it's like, I, I'm, I'm going to put my life in front of this danger in order to save you. You see? Like, how many people in the world right now could you say, oh, yeah, this man will die for me? Not many. Because the scriptures say, um, let me see if I can find that real quick. I know it's in Peter. Alrighty. Might be. Let's see here. If I can't find it, um, I'll post it in the post production. 
Let's see. Bear with me one second. Hmm. Yeah, I can't find it. Um, I'm going to quote it, but basically it says, um, for scarcely uh, one will die for a righteous man, right? That's the precept I'm looking for. I'll, I'll find it in a post-production, but I'm going to just grab this precept here. Um, in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians, the fifth chapter, and I will start at one. It says, be therefore followers of the most high as dear children walk in love as the Messiah also have loved us and have given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to the most high for a sweet smelling savior. So it says walk in love, right? As Yahweh shall have loved us. Because he gave men, like, really imagine and visualize what Yahweh Shai did for us. You, you know, uh, the Apostle Gabar always say to, um, you know, picture and imagine these events that happen in the scriptures. Because when you see it in your mind, you start to manifest these things. And it's like, whoa. He, he was put on the cross like that, you see, and, <laughs> and he was up there, man, right? He was, he was accounted, um, he, he had no sin. He had no sin and, and he was, uh, numbered with, the, with transgressors as the scriptures say, right? And, um, now I have one more precept, right? Cause, um, yeah, we're, we're not perfect. We're men. We're in the flesh. We, we have, um, our, our uh, disagreements and you know we might not always see eye to eye you had apostles slot you have you had apostles that um didn't see eye to eye right um but that doesn't mean that you you know you just turn into a uh <laughs> um a, a, a niggard towards him this is matthew chapter 18 and verse uh i'm gonna start at 21 then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I say not unto thee seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take, uh, oh, that's, oh, that's something else. But yeah, it says unto seven times, but until not, I say, it's like, I'm gonna read it again. Verse 22, Yahweh Shai said unto him, I say not, unto thee until seven times but until 70 times seven so hey you know we we know the uh number seven goes into um a complete number so it says 70 times seven so hey unless the lord thrust him out of this truth and take the spirit away from him you know hey, you have to continue to forgive your brother Right now, that doesn't mean don't you let brothers walk over you. You know what I'm saying? Brother, give me $20. And, you know, brothers, you know, that's not brotherly, bro. You know what I'm saying? A man hustling you, you know. But if if a, if, if a man is sincere, you know, he say, oh, it's locked, bro. I didn't, you know, I didn't know I was, you know, saying something that offended you or I was hurting you or whatever. Baba Kasha, forgive me. Right? You have to forgive that man or whatever the case may be. So that's pretty much it. Lord willingness was at a fine and um, Lord willingness uh, all tied together through the spirit. I want to give all praises again to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash, Shalom. Until next time, Lord willing.